Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. I am so excited, you guys. I got to sit down and talk to Thomas Markle Jr. That's right, he goes by Tom. He's wonderful, he was so kind. He answered all of our questions that he was able to, and I just appreciate him so much for taking the time and being so nice. We just had the best chat, and I'm so excited for you to watch this. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to his channel, The Real Thomas Markle Jr. and Friends. He is trying to grow his channel, and you'll hear him discuss it. It's really fun. He has some really funny videos. I've talked about him before. Um, but he did, he just was so kind to me. I just really want to support him and support his channel so you can find it here. Also on the chat is Paula M. She is so kind and so lovely. And she was the one who facilitated this whole meeting for us. She introduced us and, um, had some thoughtful questions as well. So please find her channel here, Paula M channel and give her the subscribe as well as she continues to grow her channel. Now let's get into this chat. Again, Tom, if you're watching, thank you for your time. Thank you for being so kind and lovely. I had everybody submit questions and I, he answered as many as he possibly could. I will put up the disclaimer. There are things he can't talk about. So if you didn't get your question answered or if you're frustrated with me because I didn't ans ask the question you wanted, know that there's probably a reason why we could not discuss. Read between the lines there. Um, <laughs> you know who his sister is, right? You know what she's like. But there's, there's certain things we cannot discuss. So just know that I have the same questions as you all. Again, a huge thank you to everybody who took the time to write me your questions. So let's jump into this interview. So we have Paula M channel here with us. Thanks for being here, Paula. Paula helped set this whole thing up. I can't thank you enough for that. Oh, <laughs> and we have uh, Thomas Markle Jr. Tom here with us. Tom, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it's the real Thomas Markle Jr. and friends. Yes. Yeah, so I'm so glad you brought that up. I am now obsessed with your YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen his YouTube channel, you know, I've been talking about it. Definitely go check it out. Tell us what uh, video you've worked on recently. Is there one that you've worked on? Uh, yeah, I, I can't spoil it though. It's it's going to be, oh. it's going to be, be relevant. Okay. Uh, I, well, I, I, that... shot, I shot most of it, but I wasn't, I wasn't happy with half of it. So I have to go back and, and do some modifications, but normally, normally I, I'll just, I won't even uh, write a script. I'll just do it off the top of my head and it usually comes out fine for what it is. <laughs> okay. Well, that gives us something to look forward to. I'm very excited about yeah, that. I'm sorry I was late getting here this morning. I had to make some milkshakes for the kids. It was really busy. <laughs> I just hopped on a jet. I just hopped on a jet. I just got here a couple of hours ago. So. Oh, yeah. But you want privacy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, that's why Paula called me while I was still sleeping and started rolling yeah, film yeah. while I even got out of bed. You, you, you have jet lag. You have yeah. jet lag. <laughs> that's right. So now are you going to give a 20 minute speech about yourself? Is that the next plan? <laughs> and your yeah, family this, value. Yeah. Yes. I'm so happy. I'm so How happy. important family is for you. That's I'm so right. happy to I'm so happy to be able to come here and dump on the Invic Invictus games all for my own personal gain. That's you know, right. It really, really means a lot to me. And you know, <laughs> it's all about yeah. you. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Especially that you know, when I refuse to wear the t-shirt, because of course, you know, it's it, it, it cramps your style, you know. Oh, tell me about that. So she was supposed to wear this shirt. I didn't know that. Yeah, she well, can well, she's there. At the request of Invictus, and she said uh -huh. her expenses I pay for, she complained that they didn't fly her makeup artist nor her hairstylist, but they do have one for her in the presidential suite. It's wow. Just not the ones that she wants. Oh, but oh gosh, she, she, must be, she must be so exhausted from having to do her makeup. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's starting to look like she has to go to an auto body repair facility and get <laughs> audio and grinding and spray paint. You know, it must be really hard for her to do that. That's right. So, Tom, is that the real reason you were a few minutes late? You were getting your hair and makeup done? Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, hair and makeup was late. Yeah. That's yeah. right. The milkshake. <laughs> Off with their heads, right? Uh, crazy. <laughs> well, Again, thank you so much for being here. And I talked about your channel. Paula, tell us about your channel. Tell us, uh, you have amazing videos. Tell us what you're working on. I actually published a video today because, um, you know, I've been talking for so long about the Invictus mm -hmm. Games and, and yes. how 
for some reason, Harry is attributing it as though he's the founder of this yes. thing when that's not the case. I've been talking about it for such a long time because actually it was the Royal Foundation who created Invictus Games, uh, the Invictus Games, right? And it was fronted by Prince William, Catherine, and Harry. And they hired this uh, sir, something who was the chief creator of the Paralympics. Correct. Uh -huh. um, and then, um, and then, you know, this is why you would see pictures. I think there's a, a few famous pictures of Prince William with Prince Charles at the time and Prince Harry there. They're uh -huh. all wearing Invictus shirts. You've seen Harry has been wearing Invictus in every shirt he wears. Uh huh. Except now that Meghan got there, you know, now he's wearing a suit and no Invictus shirt. But now, mm -hmm. he, if you look at it, everybody's wearing the Invictus shirt, like uh, Prince William, Prince uh, Prince, uh, except Prince Charles, Princess Catherine used to wear the Invictus shirt whenever they attended it because it was the three of them. Uh -huh. But for some reason now, I see that it's only Harry who's the founder of that when actually it was a copy of the Warrior Games from the United States. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, they decided to give him something to do. Right, right. And then, and, and this, and I talk about it on my video, why, I wonder if it's part of the exit package that he got. When he oh. left, because I, I, I seriously thought the Invictus games were Megan's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she makes it bad herself. It's easy to confuse that. <laughs> Where have I been? Wow. Yeah. You mean <laughs> they're Harry's, right? Yeah. He, he looked really pissed off the other day in that picture. Yeah. When Megan, when Megan came in and went, I'm here. <laughs> That's right. Oh Hand me the God. microphone. I'm here. Yeah. And did you see him standing behind her, the blood royal? And oh, yeah. off the stage. Did you see that picture? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I have to go back and look. When he was standing right behind her? Yes. Yeah, and there's no. the guards there. And she's front and center. And she's I, standing there. But the look on his face, like she passed something really nasty out of the rear end or something. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yes. yes. Isn't was, that just her normal look? He I'm did confused. not look happy. <laughs> okay. Well, um, again, thank you both so much for being here. I So... I asked my Drunk Goose Club, that's what we call ourselves, Hong Kong, everybody. And Tom, you're an honorary member of the Drunk Goose Club, Hong Kong. So. How, did you guys, how did you guys know that I drink sometimes? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> no, There's no. Ca Is there cameras in here? That's right. We just assume we all drink, right? Yeah. That's a that's right. We've been watching your cameras between the makeup yeah. and the hair. Yeah, absolutely. We had them submit questions. So basically, we'll go through these questions, answer what you want, don't answer what you don't want to, plead the fifth. It's totally whatever your comfort level, that's what we'll do. I can tell you people are huge fans of yours, huge fans of Samantha's, and of course, huge fans of your father's. So yeah. the, the biggest comment question I got is, how is your dad doing? How is Thomas? Actually, uh, dad's doing pretty well. Uh, Good. Uh, yeah, no, I see dad every day. I hang out with him every day. Uh, we go out to dinner a couple, couple, three times a week. Oh. Uh, we both just got over this weird stomach thing. It was just, just weird. You know, I mean, you never know. You can't be, you can't be too careful no matter where you go out to eat anymore because you just never know. Mm -hmm. uh, you can eat at the best restaurants and you never know. And you, you know, and then you're laying there in bed sick, not feeling good, your stomach swirling. And of course the things that come on TV during those times are like parasites from beyond, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> and it's just, you're like, Oh my God. <laughs> oh. But, but for the most part, he's, uh, he's still, in, he's, he's in really good spirits and um, I'm going to take him out for a haircut today and probably, probably some lunch. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad you get to see him so often. And, and you, you don't have to give your exact location, but you live near him, right? Is that correct? Yeah. We live in okay. the same neighborhood. I live right down the street from him. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool that you're able to you do know, a lot, A lot of people get a confused and say, God, he lives with his dad. He must be a you know, oh, full-time no. full caregiver. It's like, no, sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I gave up living at home when I was 18. So Right. Sure. Yeah. I no. just want to say your, your dad is pretty mobile on his own, right? Like he, he goes and does stuff on his own too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. That's good. Yeah, we'll send him our best. Uh -huh. Normally, I don't know how he finds the keys when I hide them, but <laughs> <laughs> he does get out. You know? That's to get his hair and makeup done, <laughs> correct? <laughs> right. And buy milkshakes for the kids. That's yeah. right. That's right. I was just reading some of these questions. It says they love your attitude. That you seem like such a kind person. That they want they want you as their neighbor. 
and their friend. That's so sweet. That's the one of the top comments I got was that everybody just really enjoys your personality, especially again seeing you on the YouTube channel. Uh, um, thanks. Yeah, but yeah, you have a lot of fans out there. You, um, I, you know, I I used to be really really pissed off all the time and just high strung, mm -hmm. but and like a you know take no shit attitude from anybody and. But I don't know. I mean, that could that could have a lot to do with my upbringing and the things that I've experienced in life. But, you know, it takes a lot of time and practice to really figure out who you are and what you want to and how you want your how, how you want to portray yourself as a person. And but I, I find it's just I mean, there's so much more enjoyment in life if you could just smile and be happy and treat everybody as though you want to be treated and go out of your way. I mean, don't make it don't make it a pain in the ass to go out of your way to do something nice for people because it, com it comes back to you 10,000 times over. It's just, it's just incredible. It's a good feeling. I think that's a really good attitude to have. I think that's, that's uh, good, especially all the crap you've been through, which we'll get to, but <laughs> yeah. I think that's amazing that you've, you've got that attitude about it. And how is Samantha doing? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes she pisses me off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, if she's my sister. I hate her, but I no, love no, no, her. no, no. She's a distant relative. Okay. Yeah, she's the distant relative that I do know. Oh, okay. <laughs> but no, it's just uh, she she's doing all right. She, you okay. know, she's, she's got her plate full constantly with uh, just her life in general and 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 everything. But I still talk to her every day. Oh, good. That's yeah. good. I'm glad to hear it. This was a good one that I got. Somebody wanted to know, what are the biggest misconceptions about you out there right now, you think? Um, Anything you want to clear up? Anything that you've heard that you're like, that's Yeah, mo most, of, most of all those are clearing them up. Um, mm -hmm. I've never um, I've never eaten a raw squirrel. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've never made moonshine. Okay. I, you know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you don't make us refer to you with your titles. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, misconceptions, I guess, are just uh, the things in the media that were put out by a smear campaign from the get-go to make uh, the entire family look bad. I mean, I'm not a yeah. criminal. Sure. I, I've never been to prison. And it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah. You know, I, I we were discussing this, uh, a few days ago and just started bringing up all this, all this crap that I, that I've endured and to deal with that, to be, to have to deal with that without any training and knowing what to do or where to go for help is just, it's, it, it's a real big pain in the ass. So, Absolutely. That's incredible. Mm, I'm sure it's been a lot to overcome. But any misconceptions out there would be like, no, just, just, just a normal family. And, uh, like every other family in the whole entire world everybody has their problems and nobody's perfect you can be you can be manipulated to god turn on your family people can put stuff out there to make you turn on your family but at the end of the day it all comes out i mean you only have one family so yeah you know no, no matter what happens you have to make it work and and that's it one of the funniest questions i got was <laughs> ask tom if they had an iron growing up because we keep seeing megan in these horribly wrinkled outfits so <laughs> i just that question struck me so funny <laughs> you look like you're not wrinkled so you figured it out she can't yeah. figure it out. <laughs> there was probably two or three in the house but uh -huh. you know we, we didn't have any hired help right <laughs> <laughs> So you just had to figure it out. Yeah. That's right. She apparently did not get that memo. That's you know what okay. I wanted to tell you, Tom? Also, one of the biggest misconceptions is that you uh -huh. you didn't know your sister, that you weren't mm -hmm. you weren't in touch with her when she was growing up. I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions. Yeah, so I know. This this okay. keeps on going over and over. And I just tell, I'm going to tell everybody the same thing right now in a blanket statement. Go mm -hmm. online and look at the pictures. So. I mean, I don't know how many times I've said it before in, in interviews. We, we had a great childhood growing up, even though we weren't all together in the same house. You know, we still got together for birthdays and holidays and, and, and weekends and every year for two, every weekend for two years to see, visit my grandmother. So mm -hmm. that's out the window. Okay. So the next question they had was, have you that you can think of or in your opinion, have you seen um, 
Megan treat people like this before? And then they say the sucking up followed by using them and tossing them aside. Is that a pattern you've seen that you can recall or that in your opinion? Yeah. The only personal recollection is at my grandmother's memorial when, uh, I don't know. She, she, she raised her voice to Trevor and he just like started behaving like a, like a, like a show dog. So. Oh, what did she say to Trevor? I'm yeah. sorry. Jim. I guess no, I please spill details. <laughs> I, I, I really don't remember. It was my grandmother's memorial. I just mm. remember, you know, that, that famous death stare, death stare that she has where she's uh -huh. all, oh yeah. You know, uh -huh. you know, and like her bottom jaw, like introverts, like an overbite, and she really just gets mean. <laughs> mm, goodness, yeah. that's scary. What a place yeah. to do that, too. In your opinion, again, we're none of us are doctors. We're just opinion. Do you believe her to be a pathological liar? I thought you were going to say something about her feet when you mentioned doctor. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I just, no, I'm not I trying to why. diagnose. <laughs> no, I just want to be clear. Nobody's diagnosing anything. In your opinion, do, do you believe... That was a question I got asked a lot. Is Do you believe her to be a pathological liar? I can tell you my opinion is yes, based on everything we've seen. I, I, just think, want... I, think, I, think, I think doctors are still trying to discover what it is. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. You, you know, know, you know, the, the, because um, I was actually talking to, you know, when we did a live with Samantha, Samantha was saying that uh, she can recall when she, when Megan was younger, she would say these white lies, you know, but, you know, uh -huh. but people wouldn't have it because they're small. They don't think there's any consequences to it, but maybe because there were no consequences back then, you know, it's, it, it, it builds in her head because actually what I did about my video yeah. this morning is like, why? It's like the 43% Nigerian that, that she's saying now mm -hmm. when she went on Rachel Ray and said that she was going to Malta because her grandparents from, you know, your father's side mm -hmm. were Maltese, which is not true. You know, there are, there's Irish cottage, you know, but, and I'm wondering, but you see Invictus, people are saying, oh, my Nigerian sister. And they even gave her this Nigerian name. And I'm like, I can I bet you she doesn't even know how to locate Nigeria on a map. I don't know. Like, like if, like a, if, if a country was going to offer me like the red carpet and give me a bunch of free stuff, I'd say I was half their religion too. <laughs> half, their, <laughs> half their ethnicity. Uh -huh. Oh, really? The world rice? Oh, hell yeah. That's right. I'm from wherever you're from. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> when did you start to realize that she was difficult? I think that's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> Um, let's see when my dad, okay. True story. Um, a weekend, uh, visiting my grandmother. Right. And I heard, heard my dad or something talking, talking about Doria. And then, uh, Megan came into the room, you know, and me and my dad, we joke, we've always joked around our whole lives and we have a sense of, we actually have a sense of humor, right? He was referring to like, you know, Doria the witch or something like that, or, the room gets cold when she walks in and you can see your breath. <laughs> 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 I think I I think the those two were in the room with my grandmother and I came walking in and I go, Oh my God, the hallway got really ice cold and I could see my breath. Dory is here, you know? <laughs> and Megan turned at my dad and she gave him the death stare, the famous oh. death stare. Uh-huh. And then my dad got mad at me. And he was mad at me for like two weeks over that. So that's when I felt she was an entitled little bitch. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. So, so your dad basically... Oh, yeah. He would... Just, he, he spoiled her and then like... He, he, because you made yeah. her mad, then he would be mad at you instead of being that, mad at Well, her. That, that's always been his little baby, right? So, of course, mm -hmm. he's going to get mad at the older brother. Well, the best, part, the best part about her continuing to lie continuously, even now, the best part about it is most people have caught on. And she gets called out on it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. You know, I, I would. Yeah, That's I what I it. said. I would be so embarrassed. I mean, but because for, first of all, to face her. when it's that embarrassing and everybody knows, I mean, they're just going to think fucking Fruit Loop. Yeah. So <laughs> go ahead, Megan. Keep lying. Yeah. This, you know, none of us exist. Right. Ever. And you were you were conceived and you were found by uh, shepherds floating down a river in a right. straw basket. You, yeah, yeah. You weren't even born. Yeah, exactly. You disappeared. <laughs> she and Harry both lie about easily verifiable things, and that's what strikes me so odd. They just 
think they won't get caught or something. I'm not really sure. I think the ego gets Jen, I, I want to ask you something. Do your viewers know that she lies? Oh, you yeah. Have, I have, you have so a lot of subscribers. Do, do, do they realize that, that she's actually lying? Oh, God, yeah. They're oh. brilliant. Yeah, I have video after video showing where she'll say one thing and then say something completely different in the next one. Just so everybody knows who's watching this whole this whole entire broadcast, this mm -hmm. is a hologram. I'm not real. Because <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> That's a this very convincing a, this hologram. AI. This is a new That's AI at its finest. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to get you to say some real juicy stuff then if you're AI, right? <laughs> yeah. <I'm both. laughs> Somebody asked, do you, in your opinion, do you feel like Megan used to get mad when your dad would spend more, like if he'd spend more money on you or, or your sister or anything like that versus her? Was it that kind of contest or? Something I, I, I'd never really noticed. No. Okay, I have just yeah, I thought that was. You know, also think about like I was 15 when she was born. So, Absolutely, yeah, the age. Difference. I mean, I seriously, you know, I mean, really did not want to. I wanted to be out of the house as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So, but like I said, birthdays and holidays and get-togethers and stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, I know her. I know her bedroom looked like Toys R Us, and you know, she just you know she never wanted for anything. So sure. Are you implying that she didn't work at the yogurt place at 13 yeah. to help feed the family? How dare you? Yeah, she, she probably worked there for one day and quit just so she could make eight bucks for gas in her car. Right. Yeah. Well, when she was 13 years old? Yeah. yeah apparently, how, that's how the story goes. She had to work three jobs so she could put gas in her car. Uh -huh. So yeah. she could climb through the back of the car to get in? I remember that. Yeah, because... Yeah. Because the whole <laughs> side of the car was crashed in, yeah. That's right. You know, I mean, us hillbillies, we, we love jalopies. We, yeah. we don't drive anything <laughs> but shit cars. So. That's right. Okay, so the next question I got, I thought was interesting. It may be one that's difficult to answer. I'm just going to throw it at you. Do what you want with this. And it says, my question to Tom would be, and they say, as a black woman myself, I'm curious, did Megan accept or embrace her blackness or did she run with being racially ambiguous? Do you have well, an... She's, okay, she's mixed race, first of all. Sure. So, so, I mean, I think everybody on the planet is mixed race as far as sure. I'm concerned. She, you know, she didn't have any any racist issues growing up whatsoever. She was never, okay. you know, she was just accepted for who she is. Just sure. like the schools that she went to. So I don't think she ever encountered anything like that until she got to the royal family. Oh, oh yeah, right now. <laughs> then all of a sudden it's like, oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When it became right, convenient right, for her, right, yeah. Right, I'm suffering yeah. right. When the royal right. family became the family she never had. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, where have I heard that before, right, Trevor? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess if I was gonna pick a family and, and, and play the orphan card shit, I'd go for the royal family too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Except for I, I I wouldn't walk it walk in there and fuck it all up though. <laughs> You know, I'd be like, yeah, all right, here we what go. Do, what do you think she screwed it up? You know, you, I mean, because you, that's the kind of, kind of gig you don't, you don't screw up. I well, really think that, you know, that's the kind of gig you want to hang on to. If I have to stand 10 paces behind Catherine, I'd be more than happy to do it. You know, like, mm -hmm. man, I'll, I'll, if all I got to do is stand in public and go, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm good to go. Right. <laughs> like I said before, it's like, I mean, when all this happened, I I go, okay, you know, this is this is a new interesting turn of life. So mm -hmm. cool. I'll get my 50 acres of my sheep. I'll be there happy. You, you know? <laughs> <That's great. laughs> question I got, uh, I got two questions a lot. One of them is how old is Megan? 42. 42. Okay. And then um answer in, do the in dog years. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> 42 times seven. That's yeah. Seven. Yeah. About 300. Yeah. That's right. It doesn't look a day over 290. Um, <laughs> again, answer this how you can. T can you tell us a little bit about Doria in and out of Megan's life? You know, there again, you know, I was, uh, I've always worked for myself. So I was, I, I'm, I'm just a workaholic. So I was running my own businesses. So I didn't really pay mm -hmm. any attention to that. So, Fair enough. but my, but dad knows. 
Sure. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be making a hologram of your dad to join but us. your dad did second. end up with Megan but racing him by, her, by himself, knows a right? Lot more but listen, Tom, more. Tom, but your dad <laughs> did race Megan by her by himself, right? For a while. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because the story he, now that this this he this was really easy to take care of. He, he said he she was really easy to take care of. But she would just come home from school. He would just hang her upside down in the closet by her yeah. feet. <laughs> so no trouble whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> Please tell us a little bit about your experience, if any, with Trevor Engelson and your thoughts about the recent rumors that he might write a tell all. Yeah, I, I read that about that, and good for him if he does. Um, mm -hmm. He's entitled to it, but I don't think he's going to do it, honestly, because um, what I met of Trevor, he's a really nice guy. The few times that I met him, really new, super sweet guy, bent over backwards for Meg, and he got, he got, he got shafted. He got uh -huh. treated like a piece of shit on the bottom of her shoe, mm. and I would never, ever forgive anybody for, for doing that to me, like, you know, well, like her, she did to you. You know, well, <laughs> but she you did know, do being, that to being you. Married, being married to somebody and flying, you know, halfway across the United, flying across the United States every weekend to visit her, uh -huh. and, and find out, you know, she's cheating on you, and then she mails the ring back in the mail. It's like that's about as low as you can go. But uh -huh. yeah, because I remember but, he was publishing her show. Even I'm so proud of my girl, you yeah. know, and then she sends the ring back. I mean, that's horrible. Yeah, he but Trevor, Trevor, the two, Trevor's a super nice guy, and he got he got the brunt end of who Megan is as a person, obviously now. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but the one time I did talk to Trevor, um, I was trying to launch this like weird, stupid little project I was working on. I was asking him for some advice, and he says, "I'll I'll talk to you, but if you mention her, I'll hang up and never talk to you again." Fair enough. I don't Go blame Trevor. him, you know. Yeah, write that book, Trevor. Write That's that book. great. Write that book, Trevor. I think it's just a rumor at this point, but I am. I'll it's buy it if be, he does. It's probably going to be a whole chapter on nightmares on feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Did you ever see any evidence or hear her mention her obsession with the British royal family when when she was younger? No, I mean, I mean, I went to I went to a bunch of her plays when she was a kid, and and mm -hmm. I could just you could just see she's always just. Every every Disney movie was about a prince or and a princess. So she basically had that in her in her head, like instilled in her from when she was a baby all the way growing up about you know Beauty and the Beast and you know right yeah so Beauty yeah. and her, Beauty and the Beast I guess was one of her favorites. So she would have been the Beast and the Beauty would have been <laughs> would have been Harry not so Harry. <laughs> Can it be the beast and the beast? Is that where no. it definitely wasn't Cinderella because they could never find a slipper that would fit over that big old knob on her <laughs> big old hammer toe. So just you know, I've never asked you this question. Did you know Ninaki Pretty? Her best friend growing up? I I you know, here again, you know, I, I went to Immaculate Heart so many times and helped out dad a few times because he would donate a lot of his time to her productions on stage. So I mean, I met all of her friends, but you know, I was, you know, I was, I just, it just different phase of life. Not the other, because yeah. she's the one that that she ghosted because uh, she got really angry at her for how she treated Trevor, apparently. Yeah. So, so I wonder if you met her or not. I probably did, and I'm sure I did. Just don't remember. Do you remember how you found out that she and Harry were dating? Uh, yeah. I got a phone call from a from a strange number that I've never seen before and an English accent. And was it a tabloid reporter or Yeah, like how the hell did you get my phone number? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. So, so actually, nobody you told know, you actually, you, you know, know it's, it's good that you brought that up. How the hell did they get my phone number? Huh. Huh, interesting. Very. What would they have in common, right? Yeah. Sold out <laughs> from the very get-go. Set uh -huh. up from the very get go. This is what this is. That's exactly what. Did you think? Is. Did you think it was a joke though when that person called you, or did you take it seriously when when you got that call, or you think somebody's pranking me, or so you got? Do you have the right person? Did you say something like that, or what did you do afterwards? Yeah, I just I just said okay, they, uh, that's wonderful, that's great, you know, whatever. And then they wanted to get together and meet, and I said sure, whatever. So did did you find out first, or did your dad? Do you remember that, or I don't know. I was I was in Oregon. Oh, okay. Sure, my dad found out first. This was a question I got quite a bit. So they said, please ask Tom Jr. why specifically in your that letter that you wrote to Harry, um, 
It's the line about Megan not being left alone with children or animals. Do you care to? I don't even know. I don't even know what that. See, I I wrote that out of. Um, I don't even know. I don't even remember writing that in there. Um, okay. It's it wasn't even relevant. I think I was just trying to be mean. Well, <laughs> understandable. You've been through the ringer. I just well, I gotta tell you, me. part of that, the rest of that letter was really accurate. Yes, yeah. you nailed it. You called it. Absolutely. Well, maybe she's not out of the woods yet. Uh -huh. Okay. We've yet to see what she does with those kids and animals. Uh huh. Yeah, that's well, right. One of her, one of, like broken legs one of her, or something. One like of that. her animals ended up with a double cast. How that's does that right. happen? Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You haven't been wrong yet. What inspired you to write the letter? Were you just at your wits' end? What was going on there? Yeah. Well, it was the it was what what I got back correspondence wise from the palace when I was trying to get help to get people okay. away from me and leave me alone. Mm hmm. And I said, this is not, you know, this is your problem. This is not my problem, but it is my problem now. So, mm -hmm. and I guess the correspondence person said, I'm, uh, she says, I'm just, it was through her lawyer or something like that. I was going through the emails yesterday, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I, I save everything like a, like a rabid little squirrel. Smart. You have to, in this case, for sure. Cause you know, it's right. going to be lied about at some point. So, so when, when I'm called distant family and she doesn't know those people, uh -huh. I'm referred to as those people. Uh, that, well, that pissed me off. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because Megan and I never had any problems growing up together. We always got along. No problems between us whatsoever. I'm like, who the fuck is she now? What, mm -hmm. You know, who does that? And, mm -hmm. and all I wanted was just people to stop chasing me around, taking my picture wherever I go. And mm -hmm. it just, and then saying bad things about me, all these stories. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is really just upending my life and making my life just horrible. I mean, no privacy, constant 24 hour a day stress, destroys relationship, makes you drink a lot. And, and your stress level. Health, so your I, mental health. It's, it's, I'm it's, seriously surprised I have one hair left on my head. You know, <laughs> I it's a daily battle. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But no, I mean, the stress is just overwhelming. And then like people staring at you in public and pointing at you and like going, oh, that's that asshole guy. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that that's that low life scumbag who who, you know, who's trying to uh, ride off his sister's coattails. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it's, it's just endless. Mm -hmm. so, were you shocked? Were you shocked when you got that email saying that you were a distant relative? Distant family? Yeah, that's why I wrote the letter. I said, "Okay, well, two can play at that game." <laughs> so oh. I sat down and wrote that letter. And hello, National Enquirer, got something for you. <laughs> gotcha. If you could ask Harry a question, <laughs> do you have a question in mind that you would like to ask Harry? Or um. Do you even want to talk to that prick at this point? I would say, I would say like how much of it fell off when it got frozen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like that's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> no, if, if I was going to, you know, I, I see, this is where Harry needs, I mean, dude, grow a pair of balls. Seriously. Mm -hmm. You didn't call my dad to mm -hmm. ask him for Megan's hand in marriage. Mm-hmm you believed all these lies and now you're still having to cover up for all these lies. I mean, wow. I mean, seriously, dude, when, when is it going to be enough for you? I mean, right. when are you going to, when are you going to get it that you're being stepped on and used until you're going to be evaporated? Uh -huh. you know? Don't you think by now, you know, that like, I mean, especially with, I mean, my YouTube channel for the last year, I know you guys, I know they watch my videos. I bet you anyway, Harry probably watches them in the chicken coop by himself. So he can laugh. <laughs> but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While crying, yes. <laughs> yeah, or cry, either one. But, <laughs> but he's, you know, you, you would want to know anybody in your family. Absolutely. You know, especially the uncle of your children. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you think that Trevor was as smitten as Harry is right now? Because you said that Trevor used to bend over backwards for Meghan Markle. Do you think that Harry is at that point that he's willing to overlook anything and everything just to be with her? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's it almost seems like uh, you know. It's almost it seems like Harry has a, like a, a spell on him or something. It's like I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't put up with that. I would not. 
put up with somebody like belittling me and and embarrassing me in public and you know just not letting me even have a voice i mean that's not that's not a marriage or a relationship or a partnership at all on any level that's a huge red flag for anybody you know uh-huh. if you know i i went through that with a relationship good lord it was the worst thing i ever dealt with in my life it's like who do you think you are you don't own me you don't tell me what to do you know rework on things together and this is not a one-way street Yes, but I mean, maybe Harry was a virgin and that was his first woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe he feel dumbfounded at, wow, oh my God, yeah. that's my whole universe right there. Ooh, you know? right. But oh, no, it, he spilled not- way too many details about losing his virginity behind the bar. Ugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gross. But, you know, I mean, it, there's no longevity there. I right. mean, honestly, it's been going on a downward graph. I mean, mm-hmm. I see that. And I see I think so he has not taken a picture with a smile on his face, except for when he broke out of the house and got away for a couple of days. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So. Well, they're laying it on pretty thick at Invictus, but I feel like it's all for show. Have you been watching yeah. the Invictus yeah. stuff? They did it yesterday, though, when because I'm sure they're reading the press and the press is saying how how he's changed his demeanor. And after that big press, <laughs> then they started. Yeah. Now they're all PDA. Well, I'm glad the press is picking up on the fact that, you know, showboating Megan is just making the Invictus about herself again. And people are just, you know, pretty much generally unhappy. I think so too. Okay. Has anyone from the Royal family reached out to you or your family? I talk to Kate every day. What are you talking Absolutely. about? Absolutely. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> Is that my phone ringing again? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> now, anything you can uh, talk about or we can buzz right past no. this if you don't. Okay. No. No problem. Um, did you, let's see, do you think Megan has any sense of regret about what has happened? No. 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 I, I think, uh, who knows, me and dad trip out on it. We just mm-hmm. like sit and look at each other. And, mm-hmm. like, I I just laugh. That's all I can do is laugh because I'd rather, I'd rather laugh than get upset. Mm-hmm. You know, does your father ever get embarrassed about the things that she says? I mean, I mean, is that kind of embarrassment is like, I mean, I mean, does he go like, oh, my God, did I spend that much money on her education for this? I mean, he's got to he's got to I, I assume if I, if my son were doing that, I, no, it, my, my, my dad doesn't need to get embarrassed over anything. I mean, he he, he did his job to the T, you know, yeah. he, he did it very well. I mean, she had everything she ever wanted. So. Yeah, he has no regrets about his, I mean, he does maybe have a couple of regrets about the fact that, you know, maybe he overdid it and spoiled that, spoiled her too much. Because if this is what happens, you know, it should be an example to all parents, don't do this. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a fucking Megan. I mean, it depends, it depends, Tom. You know, like, I mean, to me, Megan seems like the kind of person that no matter what your father gave her, it was never enough. Whereas yeah. you, you would have been grateful. And you know that comment when you, that you had that very good question you had, Jen, about one of your viewers that mm-hmm. said asked if 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 Megan ever got jealous of that she but, Tom uh-huh. would get more or less than uh-huh. she did. I can guarantee you that neither Sam nor Tom are that petty. Oh, no. 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 So. I'll tell you what. I, I, I started working. My first job was I was 13 years old. I started working at a donut shop on the weekends, making donuts at, mm-hmm. at four o'clock in the morning. You know, two, two nights a week, Friday night mm-hmm. and Saturday night. And that was my first job. And I was in junior high. I was in uh, junior high school, not even junior high, grade school. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I got a job after school cleaning buckets at a flower shop. Mm-hmm. And every single day, I mean, I just love to work. And I instilled uh, that in my kids. I mean, if my kids wanted something, it's like you're cleaning your room because I ain't doing it. And if you ever want to just see anything, you're going to do what you're told and pick up after yourself. You need to learn this. Pick up after yourself, take care of yourself, fend for yourself. Mm-hmm. And they don't like it. Of course, they bitch and moan, but but they learn. Well, dad, this is what I want. Dad, th- I want this. Dad, I mm-hmm. want that. I go, well, are, are, are your chores done? Mm-hmm. No. And I go, well, people in hell want ice water. Nice. But it, it, it stirred, it instilled a very good work value in them because now, you know, the only way they know they're going to get something is if they work their ass off for it. And then they get the satisfaction 
of that as well. Mm -hmm. Would you welcome Megan back into the family after all this time? And $5 million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're selling yourself cheap. She's worth a hundred. She's worth a uh, hundred. You know what? See, the, 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 here's this uh, controversial question again. Yeah. It would, you know, does anybody in the world think that it would actually be sincere? No, probably not. You know, that's the tough part. Mm hmm. You know, for my dad's benefit, of course, he's, you know, he, he's really forgiving. I mean, he'll throw his tantrums for a couple of days, but he gets over it. Oh, man, I don't know, man. He's been through enough and I wouldn't want to really put him through any more crap. He's been sure. through Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, but it would have to be, you know, I don't know. May, you know, the, this is where, you know, Megan gave my dad an ultimatum mm -hmm. before the wedding. Disown me and Samantha if he wants to go to the wedding. Right. It really pissed him off and stressed him out. And he mm -hmm. told her, he says, I wouldn't disown any of my kids. Mm -hmm. So from that moment on, I mean, it's just been like, you know, a pissing match about, you know, Megan and what Megan wants. And That's so, I, so awful. yeah, it, it's, it's really disgusting. You it know? is. And Why the should, hatred? Why the hatred? Why should, put your father in that position? so embarrassed to show her face anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just how, what she's done to my dad is just, so I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Do, mm -hmm. you know, let I me ask you something agree? because it actually occurred to me because uh, I've seen some people do this. Do you think that she put your father in that position specifically because she knew he would never disown you and therefore she would have an excuse not to have him over at the wedding? I wouldn't even know how to answer that. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think she, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. why, but I, I think it was maybe her. she didn't want him there. Really? No, it's her spoiled little rotten attitude and her wanting to be an only child and an orphan. Mm -hmm. is what it is because she's made that very clear. It adds to her victim story, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I, I'm a poor orphan child uh -huh. growing up poor, rubbing two nickels together at Sizzler Salad Bar. Right. You know, and I and I and I had to put knee pads on to put gas in my car. Right. You know, or whatever the hell it is. Uh huh. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, it's just. I mean. Uh -huh. I mean, what 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 really happened? Did she get dropped on her head by accident, or did I actually drop her on her head uh -huh. when I was babysitting? Somebody did because uh -huh. it's, what the hell happened? Right? Where did you come up with this shit? Did you have like a nightmare and wake up and think it was real? I just very bizarre. Okay, I think I said this on one of my shows to answer that question. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I gave her an ultimatum. If she wanted to get back into my father's life to redeem like her PR companies, like I think pushing for her, like that's the only thing that's going to save her ass uh -huh. to make amends with her father, you know? And of course the PR company sees a big dollar sign attached to that along with Netflix. So they can both kiss my ass on that one. Sure. Um, she would, she would have to do a sincere public apology, you know, mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. Samantha, my family for everything that she intentionally caused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She can open herself and, to a lot of lawsuits if she does that because she she's lied to yeah. many outlets, public outlets. That's yeah, the well, thing. I don't care if she has a nickel left when she's done being sued. I could care less. Yeah. You know? She brought she, it on she, herself. She, she needs yeah. to be humbled. Humbled. Sure. You know, with life. So humbled and held accountable, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Too. Can you imagine Jen Oprah? You remember that writer that liked to Oprah? Remember that writer? Do you remember that thing? And then she had him over back in her channel. Oh, yes. The million little pieces. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I mean, about. if uh -huh. Megan comes out and apologizes and says she's lied about everything, uh -huh. Oprah yeah, would and, need and, to have your sister back with Harry there. I mean, yeah, and, you know, and, and the smear campaign and the, you know, all this shit yeah. with the Sussex Squad and the death threats and all this shit that she condones. Right. Yeah. That's a very, really good and interesting question. Would, would, I, would I let her back in my life? You know, I don't know. Would I let a rabid dog with rabies bite me again? Probably not. But Fair like enough. I said, you know, I'm willing to forgive and forget, but it's going to have mm -hmm. to be a public apology with no Netflix crew. You know, she can pay for the damages. This is ridiculous. Right. What would you truthfully say to her if if you knew she would be forced to listen if you had the chance? Well, I mean, you know, it's just like, first of all, it's like, why? The question, why? You know, I mean, and when did you not realize that you're getting caught lying about your family and everything else. And, and then you just continue to lie. Mm -hmm. And how could you do that to dad? So I gotcha. 
people are asking for you to write a book about your experiences. Is that something you would ever consider? Yes. Okay. Good. Tell us everything. When can we expect it? I need that book. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting patiently and extremely frustrated for the last year. So hopefully any day I'll get that, get that word. So. Well, as soon as you do, please let us know because you will have a line of people ready to buy your book. I'm I'm the first one in yeah. line. I'm excited. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Okay. I, I I won't spoil it, but but yeah, Dad's taking part in that too. Oh, good. Oh, I'm thrilled to hear it. Please report back as soon as you have any more information because you'll have a line of people ready to buy. Yeah, it. if there's any publishers listening, I mean. I mean, this is just getting ridiculous. I'm just, okay. I, I don't know who's pulling strings or whatever, or just trying to pull strings, but it just, mm -hmm. it, you know, it doesn't feel right. So, yeah. And then how can, this was a great question. Somebody asked, how can we support your family? Meaning how, what could we do? How can we help your dad? How can we help you? What can we do? Getting the word out, talking about your YouTube channel. How can we help? Uh, half a million dollars a year of work. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me, including everybody, have never really asked for anything ever okay. my whole life. And mm -hmm. it's just, uh, especially dad. But I mean, I was even going to start a GoFundMe for him to pick up the slack on the 40 grand of medical bills that he's chipping away at or paying. But, sure. and he, you know, he wants help, but he doesn't want help and mm -hmm. this and that. But I mean, supporting us is just, is just knowing who we are, I guess, as a, mm -hmm. as a family and being, um, vindicated about about every all the shit that's been said about us and mm -hmm. that's i really want to get that out there because that's i you know pride is the most important thing and not being you know portrayed as these horrible things that we've been portrayed as so i you know getting just supporting us and just saying yeah you know they they, they are the markles they are they are you know it was all lies you mm -hmm. know well, and I think you're doing a great job, again, with your YouTube channel and doing interviews like this and with Paul and stuff, yeah. just getting to see your personality and getting to know you better that way. I think we can tell that you're... This, this YouTube channel was, I mean, I, I really, really, I mean, I started it mostly for my dad so I can keep a smile on his face and keep his spirits up. And I, I did a pretty good job at it because he laughs his ass off sometimes. <laughs> Especially, he, he wants me to take Chick Magnet Global... <laughs> 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 he laughs. He laughs really hard every time. You, you, you know what you should do? You should you should have your father sitting in the background watching you all do all those crazy things, just laughing. That'd be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> <That's right. laughs> but yeah, I do. I do. Smart, you know. But I think so, the Go For Me page would be a great idea. I mean, I yeah. mean more than One happy, thing. all YouTubers would be more than happy to help out with, with promoting that GoFundMe page for your father. Yes. We know that the medical bills are expensive in the U.S. Thank um, God he had he had most of his insurance. Holy crap. Mm. <laughs> but uh, without insurance, geez, I, I, people, I can see how people just completely lose everything in life without insurance. Yeah. Mm. I yeah. bet. But yeah, definitely keep us posted on the status of that. If you decide to set one up, let us all know. Yeah, like I want to set up the door so I can make like a, a chick magnet coffee cup that would you could only get from my store and nobody else. Oh, so yeah, it, for sure. Or some t-shirts or some, you know, I can come up with some really good, funny things to say on a shirt. I think that's <laughs> great. Yeah, definitely let us know when that is yeah. up and running and we were, we're glad to support And then finally, tell us, tell us about you. What are you up to now? What can we promote? What, how can we help? Do you want us to go watch your latest YouTube video? What can we do? Yeah, I just, I, I feel so guilty when I take such long pauses of making videos and then I get into it and then I'm my worst critic and then I always end up convincing myself to shut up and put it out there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it always turns out fine. So I'm still, like I said, I'm still learning the process, still learning the process, but I've come to realize that shorter videos are better. Uh -huh. Sometimes I'll do like a really long one, but got a great episode of bookmarks coming up. <laughs> That's oh, good. That's exciting. But That's great. I, 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 yeah. I don't know. I just, uh, uh, once I get, uh, my little store and my, the rest of my uh, monetization figured out, that would probably, that would probably just, you know, mm -hmm. be great. Yeah. Well, please let us know when that happens and we are happy to support. But I just appreciate you taking your time with me so much. And I appreciate you being here and being so honest and answering our questions. You, I mean, I, it, it just means the world to us. It really does. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank Paula. She called me 47 times. Yeah. <laughs> no, I called you 48 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paula, now you're in the hot seat. Paula, tell us about you. Wait, Thank you wait, for arranging well, uh, this. You know what? The you one, know, I, I got to say one, something. You know, Tom, one, that I got canceled on Twitter because of you guys. I got canceled on Twitter because of you guys because I posted a tweet about your sister um, and Meghan Markle. I said, can anybody else not see her bullshit or something like that? I said, uh -huh. right? And it was reported uh -huh. as, hey, yeah, and my, my Twitter account was canceled, right? The first oh. time. And then I posted another one about your letter. I remember because I thought I, this guy should get a tar tarot reading, you know, because I, I, it's like what you were writing there, you know, it's like, yeah. that's exactly what I said was going to happen, that she was going to tear everybody apart, you know, and yeah. then, and I got canceled for the second time. And then the third time was when, uh, um, when I, the picture of Samantha on a wheelchair outside of Buckingham Palace, and I'm thinking, why are these guards not even gentlemanly enough? They know that she is her sister. Mm -hmm. Why are they letting yeah. a disabled lady in the sun handing over a letter like that in such an undignified and treating her with no dignity? You know. Mm -hmm. And could I, you I could you actually could you could you see Megan looking out the window going, "Don't let her in." Probably, yes. probably she probably <laughs> was trying to get her. You know, but, but and then I got and then I got banned completely from Twitter. And then uh, oh. I did I won YouTube. I did started YouTube and I got threats. Mm -hmm. I got all kinds of things, you know, because I've always said no family is perfect. Mm -hmm. Nobody is. But, you know, it things didn't quite add, add up. You know what I mean? I didn't understand the hatred. It's uh, I, I, so no, you know, it's, I, I don't know. It's like, I mean, there's a lot of controversy about how she looks sometimes. Like, some days she'll look like way more tan, and some days she Orange. won't. I mean, bronzer, yeah. I mean, is that called what mixed race in a can? I mean, <laughs> what, what the hell? It's called spray tan. Yeah, yeah spray tan. Oh yeah, like uh, orange glow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, uh, think about you know Samantha was um, she enlisted, and for some reason they uh, that's they they caught on to some the problems that she has, but. Wouldn't it be great if Sam joined the Invis Invictus Games? Oh yeah, for sure. She she's she didn't really see any. She didn't do any combat, but she like mm -hmm. she did basic training and everything. But uh -huh. technically, she is a disabled veteran. Absolutely, that's so right. Let's get Samantha to the Invictus Games. Let's kick <laughs> Megan out and get Samantha there. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, there's somebody that can actually add something to the conversation, right? At, yeah. at Invictus, absolutely. That's a great could point. You, could you see the look on her face? Oh, I would, I would pay money to be there. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think, I think then her secret would be out. Then everybody would know that she's like some sort of weird, strange superhero because the laser beams out of her eyes are <laughs> yeah. burning everybody in the audience. That's right. <laughs> but can you imagine how great it would have been to have Samantha there? Actually, somebody who was, oh, you know, somebody that could relate and it has a story to tell. Absolutely. It's disgusting. But you know what? I, I, for me, I just want, you know, I appreciate anybody who subscribes to any of our channels for viewing yes. the videos. Please go to Tom. Uh, it's the real Thomas Markle Jr. Yes. and friends, not in yeah. friends. Not in friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The real Thomas Markle Jr. and friends. Go subscribe, view, uh -huh. you know. Um, we're going to help him set up the, the, um, the, the this so fun. merch. Yeah. So oh, once uh -huh. we have that set up, you know, that'd be great. And if you have a GoFundMe page, set it up mm -hmm. really quickly, Tom, will be more than, I'll be more than happy to, to promote it. I know Pidaina okay. will be more yeah. than happy to promote it. Ron will be more than, everybody will promote it for you because your father and your family, in my very yeah. humble opinion, have gone through enough. And it's not fair yes. that only Megan benefits from everything. You know, that's my point of view. That's I good. I, I, I had to auction off one of those nickels. <laughs> you should auction all that chicken. That's funny. Paula, tell everybody what you're working on now on your channel. Oops. Well, Siri is working on something here. Uh, well, no, I'm I'm actually gonna do a, a one thing. I'm trying to get the Scientologist. I don't oh. know if you guys know this, but when I when I started my channel, actually, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I started making these funny videos about which was more real, Scientology versus Star Trek, right? 
And I used to make fun of it. I used to even dress like Spock because of my eyebrows, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back to that again. And I'm going to be interviewing this really, really amazing lady who was really top of top in Scientology. And oh. she's written books about it and stuff. But we're going to debunk it in the sense of, but I'm going to compare it to Danny Masterson. And I'm going to have this lady because Casey Anthony was found not guilty. Uh, and th and I think that a lot of people, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, believe if you recent if you listen to their apology, they they never really address the victims because it's like. So I wonder if this is they believe that there was a miscarriage of justice. So I am going back to to talking about Scientology and Star Trek and and th and calling out people like that, you know, and, and, and uh -huh. yeah, I find that very interesting, very, very interesting. And I'm going to be doing that interview with the vampire guy, you know, from, Oh yeah. I heard Ron talking about that. Yeah, yeah, exciting. Be, he did a book about cooking people and how, recipes, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do it, you know? So, and now of course I'm going to watch Thomas, uh, uh, all of your videos, you know, yes. so you haven't watched any yet. Of course, I watch them all the time. Okay. She's going to watch them again, Tom. Okay. <laughs> so please go subscribe, you know, like, and Tom, I'm sure he's going to yes. be doing, he's going to start doing lives because he's got a laptop now and you're going to get more techie about it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look pretty techie to me, Tom. It's not a laptop. <laughs> oh, you got a proper uh, fancy. Excuse me. <laughs> so you really got to have your makeup done for that high def look there you go Man, i don't know i just like look at this thing and i just go what is that go get I, you a good spray know. tan tom and get on camera <laughs> I'll, I'll get myself one for That's sure right. i normally Guys, have a really good uh -huh. tan but there's been no sun this year it's been overcast every day uh -huh. this year it's just uh -huh. really bizarre <laughs> well I'll come to florida it's pretty hot over here <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, look at you guys. See, fancy. Well, I only Tom have the actually, fancy. Jen, Jen, Tom is actually royalty. He's related to royalty. Uh, yes. Oh, well, what title should, should I address you to as? Should I curtsy for you? <laughs> Sir Chick Magnet. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, yeah. thank you so much for making the time for me. Thank you for coming on the show. Hong Kong, everybody. Thank you for Hong watching. <laughs> Tom, can we get a Hong Kong from you? How do I do? It? You just Hong say Hong, Hong, say Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Hong Kong. So <laughs> one of Megan's cronies came after me and told me that my voice sucked and I sound like a drunk goose. So there was born the Drunk Goose Club. So I honk every time. That's what nice. that's about. So, <laughs> so we Got have it. merch that's Drunk Goose Club. So now we all honk at each other. Weird. Weird mm -hmm. people. Yeah. So Mm. I don't know. Their their Sussex squads numbers are diminishing. <laughs> They're all jumping ship. I think so too. We we actually had one turn recently that not too long ago. Oh. What lot. was the final straw that got them to turn? Did um, they say? Tell me, was it tummy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tumi, that, oh yeah, to me, to me. Yeah, yeah we, I did a live with Thomas and and to me and and Pidina. We did a live because to me, she actually has an awesome YouTube channel, right? So she used to be a not a Sussex squad, but she used to really like Megan. You know, uh -huh. she never trashed Catherine. She just liked them both. But she was because to me is is uh, is, is black lady. She is actually <laughs> from Nigeria. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and then uh and it's so funny because uh, and she used to follow megan and then until she did that south africa thing and she's like what you know huh. and then she started following a little bit more and then the uh -huh. lies and then and then she turned and said you know what i don't like megan no more and uh -huh. then she got a lot of hatred so her channel now is basically criticizing you know and pointing things out but she's also does she's also an act act artist you know she does uh -huh. all these things that are really wicked too so oh, yeah so cool. So she's envious of Megan because she married a prince and is like. Oh, I literally got that comment this morning on my channel. <laughs> I'm jealous. I mean, if that is her highest achievement, then, oh. then there is a problem if they think that is an achievement. I know. Well, this Have you seen that, is, dude? No, thanks. That it is to marry a man. <laughs> yeah, then the man is the one who validates you and stuff like that, you know? It's, I don't know about that. Yeah, like yeah, it, to a brick. I'm okay on that. It, yeah. It, it's really strange how how if you go on like Sussex channel, they still call her Princess Megan. Oh, I know. Wow. And all these other all these other Instagrams, she's like Princess this, Princess that. It's like, get a boo. You are not 
never will be, never had been a princess. Correct. Yeah. No. You know what it reminds me? It's Tyler Don't Perry. Don't let the truth get in your way, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it's like Tyler Perry trashing the royal family. He said, I'm not going to go to the baptism if you're going to have it over there with those people, right? Because uh -huh. he hates royalty. And then, but he's happy. He's wishing Princess Meghan birthday two years ago. He didn't yeah. wish for this year. Yeah. And then he's the godfather to Princess Lilibet. Uh-huh. Yeah such a hypocrite you know yeah but then he's all like get the hell out of my house <laughs> yeah stop calling the paparazzi to my house yeah. yeah we want privacy okay guys we're here build a fence that's right oh i just talked about that exactly let's put yeah. a fence up yeah goodness <laughs> it's uh, ridiculous it is, no, thanks thanks for having me here oh, thank you yeah. i really appreciate it jen i hope you don't get too much hate no you you guys are the best i appreciate paula thank you for facil facilitating this for us and tom yeah. i can't thank you enough for being so kind with your time and generous with your answers thank you yeah, it, was, it was nice to meet you finally and uh yeah. don't worry guys just send all the haters to me i like them oh. <laughs> I love them. you know what <laughs> they give the same amount of views hate love it's all views yeah. right <laughs> yeah and I, I leave them charming comments too Oh. It's like they hate watch you, you know, it's like hate watching you. Yeah. And I'll tell you a little secret. YouTube doesn't care if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. It still counts as engagement. So that's right. Yeah. That's right. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to end it here. Okay. Okay. I gotta, well, yeah, no, I we can go on. Take a dad to uh, get a haircut and run a couple errands. So a huge thank you to the real Thomas Markle Jr. and friends. He, he'd accidentally typed in friends, which I find very funny. Um, huge thank you to to Tom for meeting with me, for answering all of our questions, and for taking your time to talk to us. Please do check out his page um, and give him that subscribe if you haven't already. Watch his videos. He's a riot. It's so much fun. And also a huge thank you to Paula, Paula M. Channel. She was so kind to set this up for us. And again, for the thoughtful questions and the interjections that you, you brought. And I, we appreciate you so much. Thank you, Paula, for your time on this as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed to her as well. Guys, if you're still watching, I just want you to know I appreciate you so much. I am so thankful for this opportunity um, that I had to be able to sit down and talk to these two lovely people and to have all of our answers or questions answered. And it just means so much. Your support means so much. All your comments, all your thoughtful questions, all of it, your kindness, your well wishes and congratulations. I want you to know how much that truly means to me. It really does. Guys, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I just, I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. I hope you guys have the best day and I'll talk to you again soon. Honk, honk. Can you believe we got Tom to honk, honk with us? How cool is that? Uh, honk, honk, everybody. Thank you for everything. I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.